How's it going, my fellow reactors? This is Link's Reacts, I'm Link, and today we're going over the next episode of the Season 7 of The Flash, which is Episode 4. So, last episode, he finally got his head straight, he got his speed back, he got Iris back, uh, they defeated the Mirror Master, well, he kind of turned a new leaf. And then she went to a new world. So, now we're on the next episode, so let's get right to it, shall we? Iris, ooh, she got a haircut. Okay. Babe? You definitely got his speed back. Romantic dinner time. The trip to Maui, eh? The fresh grape, the fresh grape? <laughs> from Paris? Wow. Oh well, it definitely helps. It definitely helps that he has a um, speed force where he can just go anywhere he wants. He doesn't need a plane. Maybe not. Oh, all those colored lights did be because um, he's not. Uh, he's got fire. I think. Oh god! It's flipping Abracadabra's back! I'm the greatest magician of all time. Which is why you should be more than just afraid. You should be terrified. They're a bit terrifying now with that ominous. magician who uses embedded nanotech and calls it magic four years ago his agency took him to be executed for his crimes somehow he escaped last time he was hell-bent on stealing tech to build a time machine this time he goes out of his way to kill an innocent person doesn't steal a thing now, that's a pretty vicious escalation oh definitely back there got to do with it. it doesn't matter cadaver picked the wrong day to come back I'll put out a bowler right away you want to help me analyze all this stuff yeah. i'll search the city Oh man, poor guy. Death by so many cards. I said a thousand earlier, but I don't know how many cards. When I was inside that other place, I watched that mirror version of me spend time with my wife. They ate meals together, talked about their day. I remember screaming, that's not me. But I was helpless. Aw. Hold it, hold the cappuccino. That's the same temporal scan from this morning. That's funny. There's a second one downtown. Which means that's where Cadaver's headed next. That's where Cadaver's headed next. Two is always deadlier than one. Okay. Two is always deadlier than one. Fair enough. Yeah, those would be nanotech 
nullifying cuffs, so no hocus pocus this time. Hey, what's up with all your new toys? Magician never reveals secrets. I see you're finally Mecha Vibe. Mecha Vibe. I know he did not just <laughs> know any more than just your name. I've seen your future. It's over. You've lost. Have I? Seems you've forgotten the art of misdirection. Oh, shoot. You know what? I'm doing you a favor by killing you now, Flash. This way, you'll never have to face the wrath of the Chronon. Alas. My classification is Director of Technology and Science for Argus. I've never held the rank of chief. Okay, hey, I just want to know what your plan is for keeping David Copperfield here contained. David Copperfield is not currently under Argus's custody. Are you for real right now? If you're asking if I'm a hologram, I can neither confirm nor deny Argus's use of such tactics. <laughs> you talk like a robot. Lieutenant Literal, where were you? Hiding from Argus? No, Argus and I are cool. They know I'm innocent. Trying to get rid of this stupid headache. But look what I liberated from one of the transport guards. Ice Ice Bandit, what is it? I don't know. But it was on Abracadabra when they took him down. Maybe it has something to do with the obelisk? Yeah, maybe. Uh -uh. Before you nerd out completely, I need a favor. Nerd out completely, I need a favor. That's funny. What's wrong? Uh, really? I'm kidding. Oh, that's not nice. Every dark matter reading I'm seeing is completely normal. That's not nice. She says it's just a headache. Oh, she's probably right. I told you so. No, you can't find anything. Well, then look somewhere else. I don't know what else you want me to do. Sorry, I was yelling. At you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm gonna let you two work this out. Chester and I are gonna break open Abracadabra's mysterious tech. Mysterious tech cop. Oh, wow. Stand down. It's your last chance. Flash being ruthless. I like it. Not if I enjoy the stoic of desperation on you. I'm afraid you're too late. You're trapped in a constricted metallic halo. The more you try to escape, the tighter it gets. So please, try to escape. The last time we met, you begged me to find a glimmer of light in myself. Well, I found that light, that hope, and then you stole it from me. Now I'm going to take something from you. I don't know what you're talking about. Let me make it crystal clear for you, Flash. You cannot defeat a man who has lost everything. Ooh, that's pretty true and really ominous. I guess it better. Wait, so does Abracadabra come from after the Reverse Flash? Reverse Flash, or does he come before? I can't remember. That's pretty impressive. Embedded nanotech, so cool. He's got nanotech running in through his body. Do we have eyes on Kadabra? Uh, yes and no. He's teleporting all over the city with that obelisk ball. Powerful. Exactly, a big heart. Exactly. 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 Nothing. Oh, oh, poor Philippe. Oh. Philippe. No, Philippe, you just turned around. What, have you done? what the heck? 
heck is that thing? And that thing just absorbed your lightning. Get through to Philippe and that saved the city. It's called teamwork. They're very nice. It's the strongest. Oh, so nice. So I was thinking tonight, maybe we just go home, have a normal dinner, maybe eat a frozen pizza on the couch. Seems lazy. Perfect. But nothing. I just I was thinking of something I have to do tomorrow. Oh. Mirror vs. Survivor Support Group. Um, I am no stranger to trauma, but when Eva McCulloch threatened our city, I was taken against my will to a terrifying place. A place that you all know. Somewhere filled with loneliness and dread. The same dread that you all felt too. And that is where I spent the next three months. Three months where I couldn't be with my loved ones. And yes, I feel angry. Three months, not like, oh crap, she spent so long is there. I myself and I hate that I feel both of those things. And I wish that all of that was yesterday's pain and that today I could feel healed and, and whole but I now understand that she spent like a whole summer in the mirror verse mission to feel oh. mm. what happened to terrible was it was terrible absolutely terrible no one should go through it. If you are hurting, if you feel angry, if the constant presence of those emotions is exhausting you, you uh -huh. Somehow you're turning your personal story into a speech. You know, my dad once said that there is as much beauty in this life as there is pain. Chester, you're going to be a part of Team Flash, then you have to stop being <laughs> they play Fortnite there? Cisco, thank God you're here. Um, there's something I need to show you. You're still having those headaches? Nope. Not anymore. Okay. What the heck? There's two of them now? Hello, they split? Oh. What the heck? <laughs> How? How did they split? How? How? Oh. Alright, I guess that was my reaction to episode 4 of season 7 of The Flash and heck of a lot of stuff happening. But let's get right to the review, shall we? Alright, so that was my reaction to episode 4 of season 7 of The Flash. This episode was action-packed, heartfelt, drama-inducing, basically everything that makes a good story. So, basically, Iris is suffering to a slight PTSD from spending three months in the mirror for three months! Um, Barry's trying to, like, um, try to make up for, like, basically the three months that he didn't know that Mirrorverse Iris was a Mirrorverse Iris, not the real Iris, so he's just doing things left and crazy, trying to be the most best husband, most romantic husband there is. Iris is also having a mental writing block. They're trying to help rebuild the city, Central City Strong. Abracadabra shows up. Absolutely crazy, turns out. He had, um, it was part of Crisis. He had a family pre-Crisis, and now it's gone. And he's mad. He tries to blow up the city, but he turns a new leaf just like Mayor Mirror, or Mirror Monarch. Yeah, Mirror Monarch. And, man, this is why I love The Flash. He always sees the best in uh, his villains. He tries to get them to turn around, and if he sees a chance to turn them for the good, he goes for it. And he did. He succeeded in this one. 
and then, and then this, like, female Solomon Grundy that could, like, literally absorb an antimatter bomb, literally just kills Philippe, which turns out to be, um, the Abracadabra's real name. And then, the thing goes around absorbing Barry's lightning. Like, nothing. And then almost kills Barry, but for a split second, it looked like that creature was in pain, and then jumped away. I'm not sure. But also, while going along in this episode, Caitlin Snow and Killer Frost are experiencing headaches no matter how many tests are going on. They can't discover what's going on. And at the end of the episode, they've split in two! They've literally split in two. There's Killer Frost and Caitlin Snow still in the same room having two separate conversations going on. And it's so freaky! It's so cool! Yeah, so I loved this episode. It was really good. I loved, uh, if you liked this video and liked my reaction and review, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, share this video with friends, and subscribe! We're trying to get to 500 subscribers, potentially, before the end of the year. I don't know if we'll get it. I don't know. But if we do, that'd be great! Heck, maybe even 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers would be great just as well. So, as always, I do have two other channels. One of them is a review channel. It's where I review Funko Pops, NECA figures, Sideshow Collectibles, Hot Toys, not the cars, the actual figures. And then I also have a Pokemon Unpacking channel where I open up Pokemon packs like Shiny Fates, Hidden Fates, uh, Champions Path, Vivid Voltage, Sun and Moon, stuff like that. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And as always, my fellow reactors, have a nice day and peace out.